Hi everyone, I am not shaving. I am getting ready for my day and I thought, you know what, since I'm doing a pretty simple morning skincare and makeup routine, I thought I'd uh, update you on how things are going since I moved to Miami. So let's do it. I'll tell you about this product too, don't worry. start this video does include a partnership with pharmacy they have a new eye cream and i love using it in the morning time this is called wake up honey cream you can actually say that i've been using it a lot lately i'm really excited to tell you all about this because look at that beautiful texture it even has like a little bit of a yellow tone to it that i just always love in eye creams and it has some really great ingredients including vitamin c so i will be telling you all about this when i put this on in a bit so you're probably wondering what the heck I have on my face, especially for the morning time, like what the heck is going on here? This is actually from a brand called Educated Mess. It is called Hair of the Dog Mimosa Fizz Mask. And you can see also, it's just really fun to use. This is a face mask. It gets a little bit fizzy. It kind of even tickles a little bit and has this really beautiful scent to it. But what I like about this is that it starts off as this really beautiful kind of like gel texture, almost like a golden gel texture and this product contains vitamin C that has been stabilized with glutathione and gold. And if you've followed me for a while, you know I'm all about finding ways to stabilize vitamin C and get more vitamin C into your skincare routine. You just know I love vitamin C. It's one of my favorite skincare ingredients. It's pretty easy to use in your skincare routine, but at the same time, it can be very unstable or it can be very irritating for some people's skin. And so it's always cool to find new ways to get vitamin C into your skincare routine. And that's why I like this. You put it on, it's a face mask. It delivers vitamin C to your skin and then you rinse it off and you go on with the rest of your day. So if you're one of those people that doesn't like to have too many serums on your face during the daytime especially, you can use this face mask, let it do its work a little bit, then rinse it off and then put on like your moisturizer or sunscreen, whatever it is, you'll see what I do. And then you are, you know, like that's it for the day. So I really think it's a cool product. Um, apparently they're gonna have some new like packaging updates or something, like a rebrand, I don't know. But I've been seeing what's going on on social media and I've become really friendly with Alex, one of the founders of this brand. So just wanted to try it out. So I purchased this myself and I'm, I'm really liking it. I've been using it a lot in my morning skincare routine. All right, so next product I'm going in with is from Alpha H. This is their Generation Glow Daily Resurfacing Essence. I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking while I'm doing my routine. So if you didn't know, my husband and I moved to Miami this past summer and we've been living here for, what, it's been like almost like six months now. Has been more than that. <laughs> I can't even tell. Anyway, but we moved here. We kind of just like did it on a whim. We wanted a change. We thought it'd be fun. The kids are still young. And you know what? We're happy with the decision. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you're moving to Florida. You're going to hate it. I don't know. There are a lot of people that were like, oh, the politics, all this stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit worried about, you know, what I would I like it here? You know, like it's, it's a lot different. Like we have definitely encountered things with politics here that I've never experienced before. Um, but overall, I would say it has been a really great experience. And we're really happy we made this move to Miami because, oh no, it's just been like the change that we needed. I feel like, you know, I moved to Los Angeles right before I turned 30. Soon after I moved to Los Angeles, it, you know, like social media started becoming a thing. And that's when I started my social media career. I had already started my like on camera slash like online journalism career, but I started my social media career in Los Angeles. And you know, like because that's what I associate Los Angeles with. I think I had a really hard time separating work and being a mom. I don't know why, but I did. You know, like social media is one of those things where it can like be all encompassing. And if you're not careful, it's very hard to separate like your day to day and your really important moments with your family, especially with your kids, especially from social media. Like you start to get so used to making social media such a big part of your life and your day to day that it's hard to separate like real life from that. And when you have kids, especially as they're getting older, you really have, you have to separate it. Like for their sake, you have to give them that time and that attention and for your own mind and for your own sake, you have to give them that, you have to like really cut that and like create those barriers and, you know, figure out like, this is, this is work and this is, you know, my real life and my kids and my family and everything. So moving to Miami was like a really good way to just like break. And yes, it's like pretty extreme to like move across the country to get that kind of experience, but, but it's what we chose. 
and we're pretty happy with it. By the way, I didn't talk about this, but it is such a nice essence. It's like super bouncy. It has 5% AHAs in it, like a complex of AHAs. And it also has like postbiotics in it. It's really nice. It doesn't have uh, a sting to it, at least not for me. And I'm gonna put lip balm on really quick because my lips are getting dry. I just got this from Typology and PR. This is their lip oil in powder pink. I've never used this before. Anyway, but when we moved here, it was middle of summer and people had warned us about how hot it can get. I don't think anyone can mentally prepare you for the heat of Miami during the summer, the humidity, the stickiness, all of it. And so I basically spent most of the summer, like July and August, inside my house, which thankfully we really like this house. My husband and my son were like, I realized like they, they were made for like heat. They like the heat. It didn't bother them whatsoever. My son Nikosh almost treated it like this was Jurassic World and he was like, this is amazing. I love this. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be outside with my dinosaurs all the time, you know? And my husband would like take naps outside, you know, like lounge outside. Not in the sun, thankfully, but they just hung out outside in the heat. Like it was no big deal. And it was mind blowing to me, but me and my daughter stayed inside almost all summer. And so I realized like, she's like me. We don't like to be sticky and hot and feel uncomfortable. So that was interesting. But as soon as fall rolled in, I have to tell you, I like fell in love with Miami. The weather here is beautiful. It's actually strangely cold today, but overall it's beautiful. The weather here is gorgeous. The people have been really friendly and nice. And you know, like growing up in a Latino culture, you kind of just assume like all Latino cultures are pretty similar. And there are some similarities, like it's all about family and people are like really like animated and, and like, you know, friendly and they want to have a good time and stuff. And it's like all about food. And you know, there are those things that I feel like a lot of Latinos have in common, but at the same time it feels like a completely different Latino culture than the one I grew up with in New Mexico. I think that's like a whole other video and topic. It's just interesting is really like the best way to say it because I've met only really nice people. Before I continue though, let's go in with my next product. So this is from Pharmacy. This is the Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. This is really nice. The reason why I think this is a really nice eye cream, especially for the daytime, is because it has a vitamin C derivative in here called THD. It's like te tetrahexodexal tetrahexodecil ascorbate. And it's actually one of my favorite of the vitamin C derivatives because it is an oil soluble one. So it just feels really nice. I feel like it's a, a nicer vitamin C derivative that you actually see benefits from. It has a little bit more data behind it as well. So if you're trying to target dark circles and you use like ascorbic acid already in your skincare routine, maybe like in a serum, it's nice to get that additional vitamin C derivative into your skincare routine, especially in your eye area, if you have dark circles, especially. I also just really like the way it feels. It has their proprietary honey blend. You know that I'm a huge fan of a Honey Halo moisturizer. It's just, it's such a beautiful moisturizer. I've like said so many times how much it's like one of my favorite moisturizers ever because it's so silky and just feels so nice and buttery on your skin. This has that buttery feeling as you apply it. It kind of dries down to like this silky finish but it also has encapsulated caffeine in here. I'm a big fan of encapsulation. It's just a great way to stabilize ingredients, but also like in this case with caffeine, it's a really great way to just make sure that you're getting very even, slow and steady penetration for your skin. So you're getting a little bit of a better experience when it comes to that caffeine around your eyes. And caffeine is great around your eyes because it can really help to at least temporarily tighten up the area around your eyes. This also has cranberry peptides in it, which are just really hydrating and nourishing for your skin. So you can see it's just a nice eye cream that doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't pill under your makeup. So it's a really nice morning eye cream, especially you can use it at night too, if you want to, but I feel like with the vitamin C derivative in it, this is a perfect daytime eye cream, especially the texture and the feel of it. If you've been around for a while, you know, I've worked with pharmacy for a long time. So of course I have a code for you. You can get 25% off with the code mix makeup 23 for 2023. I'll leave all the information in the description box. Just go look in the description box and you can get your 25% off of this new eye cream or any of the pharmacy products on their website. All right, so I have a lot of vitamin C in my skincare routine, but I'm still gonna go for a little bit more with my sunscreen. This is from My Brand Naturium. This is our Duglo Moisturizer SPF 50. I am all about using products that are multifunctional and just save you time. So I love this one because it also has a vitamin C derivative, a different vitamin C derivative. So I've actually gotten three different vitamin Cs into my morning skincare routine. 
very easily. So awesome. I got it in with my face mask. I got it in with my eye cream and now I'm getting it in with my sunscreen. I love this. It leaves a dewy finish on your skin. Obviously it moisturizes your skin, but it also has antioxidants in it. So it's nice. And what I like about this and you're going to see is I don't actually have to wear makeup or at least not a lot of makeup on my skin. If it's just going to be a really casual day, this has like this filter finish on it where it's kind of reflecting, you know, like we call it dew glow because it seems like a dewy finish, but it's not a greasy finish. This is actually on purpose because of one of the ingredients we have in here. So you'll see once it dries down, I actually just like powder down. I'll put like a little concealer on and I'm ready for the day. So while I let this dry down, let's continue talking about Miami. So Miami has been amazing. I actually had to travel a good amount last year. So it felt like I was in Miami like half time. And I was telling a friend actually here that it almost feels like I have like two separate lives. Like I have my mom life here in Miami. And then I, you know, like I do all my like work during the week. I'm on conference calls all the time. Zoom, you know, like has obviously changed the game. So like doing a lot of my meetings over my computer. And then I, uh, you know, like had to travel for work. I go to LA a lot. And so, you know, I have to go see my team and everything. So it's like funny because when I'm traveling to work, it's like I can compartmentalize, you know, my life and everything. And so that's been really interesting to experience as well. And it's made me almost feel like, you know, when I come home to Miami, like this is actually home. So that's been a great experience. Actually, I've been liking traveling. It can definitely get old at some point where you're like, okay, I can't travel all the time. I just need to stay put. And I actually decided to stay put the last six weeks, like through the holidays and everything. I was like, I am not going to go anywhere. I am staying home. My family came to visit. That was really nice. We have made a good amount of friends, by the way, going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is one of their newer ones. This is the ultra blur setting powder. I like to set my sunscreen no matter what, just because I don't want it to run into my eyes anyway. But yeah, we've like, we've made friends here, mostly with people who have kids in school with our kids. That's been really nice. I have had friends here too. What's funny is, you know, like there are a lot of people that moved to Miami during the pandemic and stuff. And now we're starting to like actually meet people who are moving back, right? Like, especially like New Yorkers, they were first to it. They were like, we're gonna move here to Miami and like spend our time here. And now they're going back and I feel like now everyone's from the West Coast that's coming in. So we're gonna be here for a little bit. I actually imagine us being here for a little bit. I mean, I'm, I didn't see this as like a temporary move necessarily. Like it was one of those things where we were thinking like, well, let's give it a try and then just decide from there. And so far we're, we're liking it. So I don't see us moving at all for a little while because yeah, we like it. We like our house a lot too. I um, have also been trying to recruit people to move to Miami. So I've been like posting about the beautiful weather here because Miami really shows off. It's January and the weather is beautiful and perfect. It really is like LA could never, I mean, LA's nice. So don't get me wrong. <laughs> LA weather is so beautiful like year round, but Miami at this time, I don't know if anything can beat it. It is such beautiful weather here. I love walking with my dog, going to the park with my kids. Like, it's funny, I'm so domesticated here. And I just, I really needed that, that separation from work. And I think LA to me is just work. Like it actually makes me just think I have to work 24 seven. And at some point that gets really old. I'm not the kind of person to be like, I'm burnt out, but I guess like if I were ever burnt out, I guess I would associate it with LA, <laughs> like being burnt out in Los Angeles. And so I really like this. And there's something actually very beneficial to having a team that works on the West coast while you live on the East coast. And that is, I have the mornings to myself, my husband too. He actually still works for a firm that is based in Los Angeles, a law firm. Nobody's emailing us until, I mean, the earliest is like, 10, 11 a.m. We're not getting emails for work until then because everybody's on West Coast time and we're on East Coast time. And we have also young kids. So of course they wake us up early. We got to get them to school and all that kind of stuff. So it's like amazing to have this time. I actually started working out. I think that's one of the reasons why I like it too. I like was working out in Los Angeles, but I was so off and on. Whereas here I actually, I got myself a trainer because I deserve it. I busted out two babies. And if there's anything I'm gonna spend my money on, it's a trainer because otherwise it won't work out. So that's also been a really nice experience too. I love, the, I love this stuff. 
I have talked about Babrow for a long time. I love this stuff. I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara of 2022. This is from Tower 28. It's their Make Waves mascara. It's been great in Miami because it's water resistant. So it doesn't really smudge or anything, but it's easy to remove and it works well. That's always important too. All right, finishing up my mascara. And this will essentially be my look for the day. Keeping it simple, this is why I like Miami. Don't get me wrong, you guys. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, complaining about all the things that happened during my day and how stressed out I am all the time. Cause I am, I'm stressed out a lot, especially being away from my team. It's really hard to have like things happening and then not be able to just like drive over to the office really quick and hop in for a meeting or something or make some really quick decisions. But everyone's adjusting and it's been good and I feel really grateful and it's just been nice. I mean, I needed this. I think I really needed to compartmentalize my life and this has been, it's been really helpful. So this is my look. I'm really into the fact that I got three different vitamin C's into my morning skincare routine. I like the way my eye area is looking really smooth right now. I'm into this, I'm into this. I've been doing this a lot. This has been like my go-to, like super simple morning routine and I'm really into it. So anyway, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I've, I've seen some people ask like, oh, are you gonna move back to LA eventually? I don't know. I don't know, I really don't know. We, we like it here. So I guess time will only tell. I'll keep you guys posted. Again, if you wanna buy some pharmacy products, code is in the description box. If you have any questions, you can always find me on Instagram as well, at Susan Yara. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.